Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 13.4, Problem 11. This is Section 13.4, Problem Number 11. It says, draw the graph of the following function. Be sure to label the x and y coordinates of any critical points. And the function is f of x equals negative x cubed plus 3x minus 1. So, step one of seven steps is take the first derivative. So we're going to have f prime of x equals negative 3x squared. So for that, the negative x cubed, the exponent of 3 comes down times the number in front, which is understood to be minus 1. 3 times minus 1, there's your negative 3. The exponent is 1 less power. The third power drops down to a second power. The 3x will give me a derivative of 3. Again, the derivative of anything with an x to the first is just the number in front of the x, which would be the 3, positive 3. The minus 1 has no x, so its derivative is 0. So that's step 1. f prime of x equals negative 3x squared plus 3. The next step, take the first derivative that we found and set it equal to 0. The next step is solve f for x. Now, because there's an x squared, I expect to find two answers. This is a little bit different. We have to solve by factoring. You don't put the numbers on one side, x is on the other, and divide by what's in front of the x. You won't find the answer for you. Um, what you want to do is factor out the negative 3 in front. You'll have x squared minus 1 equals 0. Right, so negative 3 times x squared would give me back my negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 1 would give me back my positive 3. And now the x squared minus 1 is what you call a difference of squares. You can split into two parentheses. x, x plus minus 1 will be a plus 1. The other will be a minus 1. So now the values of x that will solve this, the x plus 1, the value of x equals negative 1, solves that will make the equation 0 equals 0. The x minus 1 factor, the answer that will make the equation 0 equals 0 is x equals positive 1. So I'm going to have two critical values, two spots with a horizontal tangent line. So what we have to do now is find the height of each one of these. Find the height when x is minus 1, find the height when x is positive 1. So do the negative 1 first. So f of negative 1, we're going to have negative x cubed is negative and negative 1 cubed. Plus 3 times x is 3 times negative 1. Minus 1. So here's where we have to pay attention to the signs. Negative 1 cubed is minus 1. But there's a minus in front of that. So it'll be minus a minus 1. So this whole first piece is 1. Plus well, instead of plus negative 3, let's just make minus 3. 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. And then there's a minus 1 at the end. So, you can just figure positive 1 and negative 1 cancel. You have negative 3. We can do negative 4, positive 1 is negative 3. However you want to do it. The answer, the height, comes out to negative 3. So you can have one critical value at negative 1, negative 3. You can have another critical value when x is positive 1. So find the y that goes with that positive 1. f of positive 1, you can have negative 1 cubed plus 3 times x is 3 times 1 minus 1. So 1 cubed, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, is a negative in front, so it would be minus 1. 3 times 1 is 3. And there's another minus 1. So minus 1 and minus 1, you have minus 2. Minus 2, positive 3 is positive 1. So you're going to have a critical value at positive 1 for x, positive 1 also for y. So let's go ahead and plot those points. Negative 1, negative 3. So I'm going to go back 1, down 3. There's one of my critical values back one, down three. So the other one, over one, up one. Now, I know they're going to connect together. So I have a flat spot. It's going to come up here, flatten out again. But what we've seen is sometimes it flattens out and keeps going the same direction. Sometimes it flattens out and goes, turns around. 
So what I'd like to know is which case is that. So as I go a little left of this critical spot, is my graph a little higher or a little lower? Well, the f of x will tell me that. So I know the height at minus 1, go over to minus 2, and see where the height's a little above or below. So f of minus 2 equals, I'm going to have negative minus 2 cubed plus 3 times minus 2 minus 1. So minus 2 cubed is minus 8, but there's a minus in front, so it's positive 8 minus 6 minus 1. So 8 minus 6 minus 1, 8 minus 7, positive 1. So if I go back 2, I'm up a height of 1. So I know that it does turn around and go up. Now what happens on the right half? So at an x value of positive 1, I have the height. How about an x value of positive 2? Does it flatten out and keep going up, which it could do? Or does it flatten out and come back down, which it could do? So put in a 2 for x and see where the height of the graph goes. So positive 2, I can fit it in here. f of positive 2 will be negative x cubed becomes negative times positive 2 cubed. 3 times x will be 3 times 2. And there's a minus 1 at the end. So 2 cubed is 8, but there's a negative, so negative 8. 3 times 2 is positive 6. Then I have negative 1. So I have negative 9 and positive 6. Negative 9, positive 6 is minus 3. So when I go over 2, I'm down 3. So coming from this flat spot, it is going to go down. So that's the graph. It comes down flattens out at back 1, down 3, turns around, comes back up to 1, 1, and then turns around and goes down forever after that.